Hi everyone! I've been getting a lot of questions asking if uh, sticker collections can be used in Mambi Happy Planners. For those of you that do not know this, our sticker collections are actually designed to fit the Aaron Condren vertical planners. Um, and if you don't know what that looks like, this is it. So the insides are like this. This is a black and white version. But because the Happy Planners have the same width as the Erin Condren Vertical Planners, these stickers will fit. I know that there are a lot of our customers who actually use our stickers for the Happy Planners instead, um, and they do make it work quite beautifully. But because I've never done a plan with me using our stickers in the Happy Planner, I just thought that it was time to kind of show you guys how I would do this. This particular planner I purchased quite recently, um, and it's one of the newer designs, I believe. It's completely black and white inside, which makes it easy for me to use different stickers um, and not have the colors completely clash. In the Erin Condren planners, even if you see the colors, there are different stickers that can cover that up. But because these stickers are not uh, specifically designed for happy planners. Um, sometimes it's just really hard to cover up all the colors that peek through. That's why I think it'd be a good idea if you do want um, more of a cohesiveness. It's not that important, uh, but if you do want that, it's a good idea to pick a black and white planner. The sticker collection that I'll be using today is this, and this is called Bravery. Um, it's one of our resolution series. And I will try my best to use as many stickers as possible from this collection. And it does, does come with a lot. I'm definitely going to have to play around with it and see how it looks. Um, I have done mock spreads before in the past in the Happy Planner using these Erin Condren kits. The thing with Happy Planners is that the insides look different from planner to planner. Um, I wish I had the other one with me. I gave it away to a friend. It's my first time planning with the Erin Condren kit in this particular design. So that's why I'm going to have to just kind of see. Um, I am, however, going to start with these full box checklists and these headers. I don't know if... Yeah, I'll just put down these to-do headers at the very top and then I'll put down these full box checklists right underneath that. But I fancy them more near to you Cause after a long day of crying out the blues Okay, so that's done. I just realized that I forgot to mention this and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are curious. I did get a tattoo, yes. Um, I got two tattoos kind of in celebration of my 28th birthday. One here, this one, and then the other one's on my left foot. Uh, it's still healing, so please don't mind that. So I'm going to put in my today headers next, right underneath these full box checklists, and then I'm going to place my full boxes in. I can't make the time go faster The week it feels so long alone So when I find myself I'm gonna move on to putting down my half boxes next and I'm just gonna place them right below the full boxes To dream with you I love this. This is looking extremely neat and structured. Oh, just right up my alley. I'm gonna move on to my sidebar now. And to start off with, I'm gonna place in this B Bray full box. Um, right at the bottom. I'm gonna place in this half box checklist. Um, let me put the black one down first. So I'll leave a little bit of a gap uh, between the full box and the half box. Like this. 
this. And then right on top of that, I'm gonna place in this header that says keep in touch. And I'm gonna place this half box down with a little bit of gap once again. And I'm gonna place in my work header right above it. I do want to use a habit tracker and I'm gonna place it right above that section that says notes. dollar sign task boxes from Kid C and just place them above the meal planning ones. So one will be for income and the other one will be for expenses. I'm going to put in a little bit of a decorative element um, and I'm just going to grab this banner from Kid A. Just place it over the weekend. I just realized that it actually is a little bit wider than it needs to be because it's made for the Aaron Condren. I think that's good. So I have a networking meeting um, on Thursday at 6 p.m. I'm just going to write it down in this little half box. The writing on that looks terrible. I'm gonna have to turn the planner around um, when I'm writing uh, because I just cannot write very neatly when my paper is in front of me straight like this. I don't know if other people have the same problem. Um, I just, I just don't know why I can't. <laughs> I have an eye exam on Friday morning. I'm gonna take one of these hexagons and place it on its side like that. And write down 10.30 a.m. This pen is not very stable. I also have a hair appointment at 1 and it's going to be a long one so I'm just going to write that down in this half box. Okay, so I'm going to use this heart on its side, like that in the corner. church on Sunday. On Wednesday I have a meeting. I'm going to write that down. I'll grab these two task boxes with a little clock and place them at the top on Monday and Tuesday. I need a car wash quite desperately actually and I think I'll get that done on Wednesday after the meeting. So I'll place this little car icon at the bottom, actually I'll put that here. So I'm going to try and make this bottom washi work in the Happy Planner. Um, it will be a little bit wider because the Erin Condren version um, actually has gaps in between the days and that does make the overall width wider. Um, but because it's wider, you can always cut it down. Um, it's better than being too short, I always think. So I'm actually just going to place it at the bottom in the boxes. Okay, so that looks perfect. 
absolutely not a no white space planner and um, I usually like having a little bit of white space showing but because it's so heavily covered from here and up it does look a little bit funny and unbalanced with that completely bare honestly it doesn't bother me too much but I do think that it'll look a little bit nicer with a little more stickers at the bottom I'm gonna grab one of these quarter boxes and place it at the bottom and use my trash can icon in a corner like that and write in take out rubbish I just decided that I'm gonna put in these headers that say small things right underneath the half boxes all the way from Monday to Sunday I love how that frames everything. That made a world of a difference in my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna put in some more of these functional stickers and I'm gonna start off with this half box and just place it on Sunday. I have this little tiny flag that says clean and I'm gonna do that on Let's do that on Wednesday. I'll place it in this corner actually. And I'll write in use this hexagon on Thursday and put it in the side like that and put in cord at church. I have laundry to do on Sunday evening so I'll use this little laundry icon whoopsies and then I'll write in This half box on Friday. I'm going to take this quarter box on Saturday, place it kind of towards the bottom, and I'm just going to grab this decorative banner and just put it above that. night. I love listening to live shows and I think I want to do that this week. I've been really missing it. I think I'm going to take a bath on Thursday and I'm just going to mark that in with this decorative flag on its side. And then I do have a little bath icon. groceries on Monday and I'll mark that in with another one of these flags on its side. Actually, I'll place it. I'll place it like that. And then use a little grocery cart icon in there. So now I'm going to move on to my sidebar. I'm going to do kickboxing this week regularly. So that would be my habit to keep this week. Um, one would be for income, one would be for expenses. And then I'm going to do some meal prepping. So one would be for chicken and the other one would be for steak. So for work, I'm going to do um, new releases this week. I also have mystery kit launch. Um, 
I also have finances to do. And then I have to keep in touch with a few people, so that would be for this group. Back in Melbourne. Also, oh yeah, the new intern. Okay, so I'm done with filling everything out. As you can see, there are still lots of gaps that I can fill out when something does come up during the week. The good thing with this method is that visually you can see which days are a little bit more busy and, and which days are a little bit more free. And these blank spaces definitely represent that free time. Um, at least for me, this works really well. Uh, the to-do section is always left blank for me, um, unless it is something that is quite obvious. Um, so today I'm just going to leave that blank. I have a whole ton of stickers left um, from that collection still, if you can see. I'm pretty sure I can do a whole other spread using just the leftovers from this kit. And if you want to see a video on that, I would be happy to film one for you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, do let me know um, and give this video a thumbs up. That just lets me know what kind of videos I should keep making for you guys. And if you guys have any video ideas, I would love to know them as well. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye!